right, so weird thing happened this morning. Um, I wake up, I immediately get, grab my phone and check Twitter, as usually do, and one of the first things I see, of course, you know, world news, world news, yeah, world sucks right now. What else is trending? Kingdom Hearts and Nomura. What's going on? <laughs> like, there's, because as far as I knew, it's like, wait a minute, they're not making any more announcements for, for Kingdom Hearts 3. As far as I was aware, the final mix stuff was pretty much done with Rewind. Or Rewind, Remind. Out of nowhere, we get this bombshell of a, of a drop. I mean, it's not Kingdom Hearts 4 or anything, but it is pretty much another spin-off game that uh, ties into the post-game of Kingdom Hearts 3, which, same way that Remind did. It looks like it's pretty much its, its own separate thing, because now we have Kyrie being sort of the protagonist of this one, and it's called Memory of Melody. Let's look at it for yourself. Crazy, right? So what's what's incredible and awesome about this is like only Kingdom Hearts is one of those games that really can get away with something like this. When you have creators like Nomura or Hideo Kojima that are either just mad geniuses or simply just mad, they're the only ones I feel that can take franchises that they have helmed from the beginning and just go completely completely insane with them and do whatever the hell they want with them and it's like you know we're on board because <laughs> we haven't because when it comes to kingdom hearts and metal gear solid you are committed you like either you there there's people that are committed to the series and they get it and they're on board and they're stuck or there's people that look at it from the outside in and are just like, what the hell is going on with this franchise? It's still going. It hasn't died. And, you know, th there are times where even us as fans just kind of throw our hands up in the air and are just like, it it's a wild ride, Kingdom Hearts. I love it to death. E even at its worst, it's just one of those, well, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. But when it's great, it's incredible and i am so glad i was a part of the series since its foundation back in 2002 i was so glad to be a part of this here we are melody of memory and it was it seems like kingdom hearts tried has or has been trying to be a little bit of everything at some point it's 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 dived the only thing it probably hasn't been yet is like a first person shooter and i'm pretty sure it's coming it's been a little bit of everything and so now we here we are with like a, a sort of guitar hero type of games, and I'm I'm just like okay, so it's for the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation Four, and the Xbox One, and it's coming out this year even. So that's a shock. It feels like it's a game that you would have seen on a cell phone, but lo and behold, Kingdom Hearts has got that covered too. We've got. We've already got the Kingdom Hearts Union, which, to be honest, I don't really care for that much. I've played it, but it's too padded for me, and we're getting an expansion on that, which is like the Kingdom Hearts Cross Union Dark Lord spinoff, which is the story of Master Xehanort through his years as a Keyblade a, in, Keyblader in training with Ericus. so who knows what that's going to be about. I just hope that... <laughs> I hope for all the English speaker, speaker sigs that we, we do get some translations of that stuff. Or at the very least, Square Enix should do what they did with uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, back cover and give us the cliff notes on what is technically important. Ugh, but yeah. So, Memory of Melody. Feels like a phone game made for consoles, which, you know, I'm okay with that. Because at least on a console, you can't really nickel and dime me like a phone game can, you know what I mean? So, one of the obvious questions is, does this mean that when they release Kingdom Hearts Memory of Melody's is there going to be some sort of like Guitar Hero peripheral? Where, because I'm thinking they should totally do Demix's sitar as a peripheral and just make that part. Like, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Or they'll probably make some Keyblade basically. Like, this is spitballing. This is just me coming up with wacky, insane ideas. Uh, but this in of itself is a wacky, insane idea. So now we have a post Kingdom Hearts 3 story with Kyrie going on about memories and how something 
I, I, that's just it. There's no, there, there's really no predicting where the series is going, and that's part of why it's so amazing. Is because it's you don't know where it's going, and it's always a joy to watch. We have this new hooded figure, which is either the Master of Masters or maybe somebody we've already seen, like Luke Surd or Blue Shoe. Either way, it's setting up for something. So I feel like Nomura and the team that he's working with have a pretty clear picture of where they want to go next with the Kingdom Hearts storyline. Because we also have the Yozora thing, which is clearly connected to the Final Fantasy Versus 13. I don't care if Nomura says that it's not, it clearly is. And what's also pretty cool, or at least I'm hoping, is back in 2006 and such, when Kingdom Hearts 2 was finished and done, everybody was speculating when Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to come out, but at the time we knew that Nomura was going to be going off to work on other projects, either by force or against his will, and he let us know that we wouldn't be seeing Kingdom Hearts 3 for some time, but in the meantime we did get a whole bunch of story arc spinoffs. I don't know if that's the case anymore, so we might not have to wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 as long. Uh, it could be a situation where we're going back to the old days, where in Kingdom Hearts 1, you finish that game, you get Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and then boom, we're at Kingdom Hearts 2. So I'm kind of hopeful that we might get less of the spin-off type games where they where they're, they are full games, but they feel like in-between games leading up to a bigger picture. I hope that we get to see less of that and we get to move on to something big. And of course, Memory of Melodies is not a big game. I mean, it's... It's a small little something just to keep the interest going. I looked at it and I'm like, it's a Guitar Hero sort of runner where you time buttons to music and it's stupid. I'm down. <laughs> so I saw it immediately on board, day one, gonna buy. But what's interesting even further is that now we have choices because it's gonna be released not only on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but for the Nintendo Switch. Holy, holy hell, Kingdom Hearts for the Nintendo Switch? That's a first. Does this mean that Sora has the potential to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Come on, Nomura, <laughs> put him in. Uh, or hell, actually, come on. Uh, oh my God, who's the guy in charge of freaking Smash? Oh, I'm losing my gamer cred. Uh, Starts with an S, I know it. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> so yeah, Memory of Melody. Uh, I analyzed a bit of the footage to try to come, uh, to see what kind of gameplay we're looking at here. Unfortunately, there are no button prompts on any of the attacks that we see, so I'm not sure how it's gonna be played, whether we have to worry about just one button and timing the attacks to the beat, or are we gonna have to worry about like multiple buttons where we have to press X, square, circle, triangle at different at different points? And then there's points where you see like arrows with the with with the commands as well. So like, do we have to hold an analog stick in a direction as well as time it with a button? And a lot of people are immediately bringing up like, oh god, it's they they literally made a Kingdom Hearts game out of the Atlantica level from Kingdom Hearts two, which everybody absolutely hated. Except me. <laughs> I, totally guilty. I am probably the only Kingdom Hearts fan that will willingly say, I kind of liked the Atlantica level from Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, I didn't really care for the Atlantica level in Kingdom Hearts 1. I thought the water physics and controlling in the water was a bit weird and it could have been done better. And interestingly, they did do it better in Kingdom Hearts 2, even though you, you have just like this small hub area just, just to swim around in, which I thought was kind of a waste. But I didn't mind the mini games from Kingdom Hearts 2's Atlantica. I kind of enjoyed them because I thought they were a nice break from the action and the adventure. It was just nice to hear some old fashioned songs and a couple of new ones that weren't really that good, but all right. Um, and just play like a short little mini game. They weren't that bad. I was pretty good at them. I didn't suck at the game, so it was pretty easy. Um, practice makes perfect. And so now that we're getting a whole game that's sort of based on a similar idea, it's like, I'm not really against this because I was pretty good at it before. So who knows where, who knows? They'll probably make it easier for people who suck at this sort of stuff. Uh, there might be some harder difficulties, but what's also crazy is thinking about the song variety, because it's clearly, they're using the soundtracks from the games as the backdrop for you to time your beat, your button prompts to the, to the music. And the, it seems like the levels are, like we're going through the story again, sort of. 
it, it doesn't feel like we're just playing the music. It feels like we are still defending and attacking based on the timing of the music. And it, it, that's what it looks like from what I saw, especially for those couple of moments that you see Sora fighting Xemnas. I'm like, okay, so are we, are, are we actually having to fight and worry about taking damage, but we're defending and attacking based on the musical beats? Th that looks and sounds clever if they can do it right. That could actually be a little bit more fun than you think. And Square Enix can be a little creative sometimes, like for like the world ends with you for the DS. I know not everybody likes that game, but it was a very creative game in how it went about its controls and how it's, it, it played. And I think that's what really is most important here is how is the game played? Is the game fun and creative and does it bring something new to the table for people to enjoy? And if so, then it did its job. Whether or not it does great things to the Kingdom Hearts story at large. If it's a fun game, it's a fun game. And if it gets new people on board and just having fun with it, then hey, we got more fans. Who knows what the story really is going to be and what it's going to take us. It could be if we're going through the same worlds like we have been and we're fighting the same bosses, it does feel like Memory of Melody could literally be going down the memories of the stories we've already played, similar to Chain of Memories but like a modern updated version that includes everything we've seen up to this point. So maybe new players can try it. And this really could result in more people coming on board with the Kingdom Hearts fandom, which is always like, who? why, why would you not want that? But one thing I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to is the PTSD from possibly many of us if we have to start uh, playing the music and trying to get the rhythm down to some of the more iconic tracks that involve certain nightmarish bosses that we've had to face in the past like the mysterious figure aka young xehanort from birth by sleep oh my god remember how much of a pain in the ass fight that was and uh, I, I could go on and make a whole separate video on that fight alone on how unfair it was and yeah yeah and i'm sure some people have one thing i really hope that they do put in this uh, new kingdom hearts game is uh, yutada hikaru's uh, theme music for the games obviously we want simple and clean we want sanctuary we want we want all those new tracks so uh we didn't get we didn't hear any of them in the trailer but they could potentially be part of the game as well at least i hope it is i mean it'd be why, why would it not right it, it'd be kind of a dumb idea but we we don't know so here's hoping let me know in the comments uh, below guys what do you guys think of this new trailer what do you guys think of the gameplay do you hope that the songs that uh <laughs> that i just mentioned will be in the game what tracks would you like to hear from the kingdom hearts uh legendary soundtrack anyway guys thank you so much for watching i'm william morris your kingdom hearts fanboy gamer bill we will see you next time oh by the way if all of this looks weird keep in mind i'm testing out a brand new camera that i just got and i'm just now messing with it i don't know about all of its features or if it's that good so this might not be a permanent look this is just me fiddling around with technology that I had on standby. So eh, let me, let me, I guess you could let me know how it looks and all that. So I'll, I'll experiment around. Next video will probably look a little bit better, uh, similar to the last ones. All right, anyway, bye.